Hi everybody, how are you guys today? I am coming to you. This is Miss Lena, of course, and I'm hoping you all are having a blessed day today. And I'm getting ready to read my scripture for today. And it is coming from the uh, Romans 6 chapter 23rd verse. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So thank you all so much for hearing and listening to my verse. Now I'm getting ready to do peanut brittle candy. Okay, I'm getting ready to make the peanut brittle. So I have uh, two cups of peanuts. Okay, everything is right here. I have two cups of peanuts, uh, raw, raw peanuts of course. Two cups of sugar. And I use uh, one cup of the Cairo syrup, okay. And now uh, it's the light, okay. And I have four tablespoons of butter, all right. And I have uh, right here is uh, two one four cups of uh, uh, two four two four cups of water, okay. And this is my um, baking soda, two teaspoons of baking soda. And right here is one fourth teaspoon of salt, table salt. Okay, I already have put in uh, the uh, light corn syrup, which was a cup. So now I'll be pouring in the peanuts. And the two cups of sugar is mixed. And that's two one fourth teaspoons of water. I mean, two one fourth cups of water. So that's two one fourth cups of water. Means it's supposed to be about a half a cup of water, really. Okay. All right. So now this is the um, the salt. Okay. And I'm gonna stir it. Stir it. Stir it together. Okay, y'all, she brought it to the stove so she can store it there in it. Mm-hmm. Y'all, you have to keep stirring it while it's boiling. How long got to boil? Between five and ten minutes, they have to boil. And then it could Until you get to 310. Uh -oh. I keep boiling it till it get to 310 degrees. And that's between 5 and 10 minutes. Yeah, you have to have a candy thermometer uh, to let you know when it's 310 degrees. We just winging it right now because we couldn't find a thermometer. But we made it enough times we should we should know. Okay, yeah, once the sugar starts getting clear like that, I don't know if y'all can tell, it's kind of clear like glaze. Might not can tell because the butter, I mean the, the bubbles. And that should be your temperature. Like I said, we can, we're not a wing it because we've been making this for years and years. Okay, she's gonna add the four tablespoons of butter. Put it in. Mm 
She just put the baking soda in, y'all. You have to stir it real good to mix it. And this is how it's supposed to look once you put the baking soda in. Take it off the heat. You take it off the heat and put in the baking soda in. You got to make sure you stir it in real good. Mix it in real good. If not, you'll have a, a baking soda taste. Okay, y'all, she's gonna pour it on the uh, grease butter parsing paper. Okay. Y'all, when y'all do it, make sure it's even. Because you might have some pieces that's thin and some thick. So make sure you spread it across real good so it won't be. You have some thick pieces and some thin pieces. We got it all in the pan, so I'll spread it out. So now I got to uh, let it cool off. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take it to cool. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer and sometimes a little less. But as soon as it cools off, I'll be back for the finishing touches. Thank you. Okay, this is the final of our peanut brittles, okay? So they've got it where I can break them up and put them on a tray. Sometimes people take a knife and cut them, but I'm just breaking mine. Okay. Sometimes they are a little bit hard to break, so. When you, break you can break them small or break them large. I put them both gloves so I can try to break them a little larger. This one. Okay. Y'all, they're so good and buttery. Oh. Okay. Some of them still might come off in little pieces, but anyway. I'm trying to make it a little bit larger pieces. Okay. All right. That's it. So that's the peanut. Uh, 